Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. The decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading a right. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the he loves the combat. He loves the engagement, but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn, whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks. He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. find success. I want to see how this plays out. Ooh, what a punch. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. That left hook landed on the button. Nice. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Wow, what a head kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Well, that 
body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Hands high, hands high. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. A swing and a miss by Lee. Nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Big punch land. Ooh. Ooh, what a head kick. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. defense there as he blocks the shot. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Under a minute now to go. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he could see almost everything coming in his direction. He's so well versed, he's so skilled in his defensive fighting that nothing is breaking his defenses. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Sound defensively blocks the shot. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice body kick. Good stick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. Oh. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. 
Wow. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. It's such a fast leg kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him today. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Circling to his right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great punch landed with so much power. Big leg kick land. Oh, big elbow. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body of that body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big body kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Connects with the right. You gotta check these low legs. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a huge block there. Top. Big knee lands right to the point of the big section. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Final seconds of round three. Liver kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. I survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Kick there by Lee. Ah. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. Ooh, what a punch. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice one, two there. Slips the punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Good. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice. Checks the leg kick. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he heard a battle with the jab. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And there comes the separation now. Kick attempt there, blocked. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Great punch. Seconds to go now. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Unable to connect with a right hook. Ten seconds to go. Leading from his cheek now. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Misses with the left hook. Head kick lands. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. 
There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Just missing on the high kick there. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Final seconds of the fight. What a fight! Official decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He 